right, so this will be the final video. This is Ms. Mueller and Mr. Byers is videoing for me. So we're going to be looking at the abdominal region here and then moving to the back. So right here you can see on the outside, this is going to be external oblique. Oblique means the muscles, so fibers are running in diagonal direction, so external oblique. If we lift that up, in here we have the internal oblique so they're running this way so internal oblique here and here we've separated out actually all of this is the transverse abdominis but here we've removed a little bit of this fascia so you can see that it's running in that transverse direction and then running right down the middle here under kind of this fascia that's going to be the rectus abdominis right here so external oblique internal oblique transverse abdominis and rectus abdominis here. As we move to the back, we're going to look at two big muscles. So here we can see this big flap. This is going to be latissimus dorsi. So it's covering the big all the way down to the lower part of the back. That's latissimus dorsi. Then the smaller flap, it kind of makes almost a diamond shape. If we had all this not dissected, you would see that it kind of makes a diamond and it comes up here. This is going to be the trapezius here. So the smaller flap is trapezius. We are going to then, if we move over here, here you can still see latissimus dorsi here, and here's that trapezius. We are going to retract that back so that we can expose the scapula. So here is the spine of the scapula right here. I know you guys can't feel this, but if you were here in lab, you would feel that spine of the scapula. So above that, this is going to be the supraspinatus. Below the spine is the infraspinatus. And then when we kind of pull that scapula up, and I'll kind of angle it like this, this is going to be the subscapularis here. So remember, if you remember all the fossa on the scapula, the subscapular fossa has the subscapularis in it. We kind of come back here, right down here, kind of running along the edge of the scapula. This is going to be teres major here. And then as we kind of pop the arm up a little bit, you're going to see these muscles right here. These are the rhomboideus muscles here. They kind of have that, that stringy kind of appearance, and they're going to go from, you know, the vertebrae over to the scapula. So that's rhomboideus. Then if we kind of move over here, we're going to tip this guy sideways, and we lift up that latissimus dorsi. Here on the side, you're going to see these muscles right here. This is the serratus anterior, so if you know what a serrated knife is, it has that jagged tooth-like um, edge. So you can kind of see the jagged edges there. This is going to be serratus anterior. All this right here is serratus anterior.